In this video, we will discuss about Aconitum nepalis. This is a medicinal plant. Belongs to family Renanculaceae. Commonly, this is called as Aconite as well as Monkshood. This is a flowering plant but toxic in nature. Toxic means poisonous. Now, if we see the plant, we can see here this is Aconitum nepalis. These are the flowers of Aconitum nepalis. So, this is a perennial plant and herbaceous in nature. Its leaves are palmately lobed. We can see here uh, palm like incisions. And if we see the color of the flower, it is dark purple uh, to bluish purple. And it bears inflorescence, which is called as typical raceme. So spike-like inflorescence, gucho mein flowers hote hain. If we see the structure of the flower, it is five plus, that is pentamerous, five petal, five sepals. So this is five membered flower. Uppermost sepal is shaped like a large downward opening hood. Uh, so this is called as monk's hood. Shape of flower is helmet like that's why its common name is also known as monk's hood. Its economically important part formerly leaves and flowering shoots were also used but nowadays uh, dried root, roots they have more medicinal value even rhizomes uh, have medicinal value. So these are dried roots of Aconitum nepalis brown in color. Its active constituent is its toxin. So the primary toxin is aconitine. Basically, this is alkaloid present throughout the plant, but its levels are high in leaves and roots. Aconitine is a voltage-gated sodium channel activator, which influences the sodium concentration. And if it is ingested, because this is poisonous in nature, this may cause burning sensation salivation and vomiting that is production of saliva and vomiting diarrhea loose motions uh, cardiac dysrhythmias uh, affecting heart convulsions that is involuntary con uh, contractions epilepsy epilepsy etc and if this consists uh, more of the time when it is ingested then this may lead to the death of the organism and if its infusion is introduced into blood or skin it will also affect the breathing, weakness, paralytic attack, and even death. Active constituent of aconite is aconitine, aconin, benzoyl aconine. These are its active constituents. And alkaloid content of the root varies from 0.63% to 4.7%. So active constituent of roots is aconitine, aconine, benzoyl aconine. Now, various alkaloids which are found in the root. Uh, there are many alkaloids, but these are the main which are involved. Now, if we see the economic importance, this is good to look at. So, this is used as an ornamental plant as well as because this has medicinal value. So, this is used as drug plant. Plant is poisonous, but we can uh, uh, shorten its doses or we can standardize its uses to use in the medicine. Uh, it is used for neuralgia. Neuralgia is nerve, nerve problems, rheumatism, joint problem, relief, cough, asthma, fever, pain. Aconoid ointment is useful in various kinds of skin diseases. This is even recommended, even cholera. Cholera is hazard, intermittent fever, and to take. If it is a pain, it can be used there too. Aconite is used as antidote to snake bite. If a snake is cut, the snake is poisonous. So, to control poison ko control karne ke liye, we can use as an, as an antidote. So, the snake poison ko control karne mein help karega. Economic importance, again, we will continue with that. This uh, is a lot of Chinese medicine. Mein iska use hai. It is used to prevent from cold, general weakness, yang deficiencies uh, which causes coldness and skin is affected antidote for several poisons used in folklore medicines for uh, facial paralysis agar aapka face to have paralytic attack ho gaya hai, it can be used there joint pain 
सूजन हो गई है इन्फ्लामेशन है गाउट अगेन जॉइंट पेन आर्थराइटिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम पायरिक्सिया वेन बॉडी टेम्परेचर इज रेस्ड मोर देन फीवर शैटिका इट इज़ अ नर्व पेन इन द लेग विच कैन बी इन बोथ द लेग्स रूमेटिज्म जॉइंट स्वेलिंग्स then this is also used in many homeopathic medicines uh, this relieves heaviness of head uh, sensation of pressure inside the brain uh, burning headaches bahut zyada headache ho raha hai intense sudden anxiety panic or fear ekdam se panic ho jata hai ya fear ho jata hai so it can be controlled with the help of homeopathic medicine and it is also used in homeopathic medicine for eyes uh, reduces inflammation and redness in eyes aankhe red ho gayi hain so it can be used there it is also used in many ayurvedic preparations so what are the therapeutic uses of aconitum nepalis treatment of joint and muscle pain reduction of fevers and cold symptoms it can reduce the intensity of illness uh, agar illness start hui hai to it can be controlled with the aconitum nepalis can any can treat initial stages of croup croup is actually kind of barking cough uh, person may awake in sleep because of barking cough so uh, these are basically airborne respiratory infection uh, that blocks the breathing as a has a distinctive barking cough so it can be controlled with the help of aconitin uh, it also controls uh, urinary tract infections then helps in controlling influenza viral infection nose throat infection protect against viral infection reduce muscle spasm muscle mein agar pain hai ya khinchao hai so it can be controlled with the help of this medicine protects vision can improve the vision uh, defending against cognitive decline uh, conscious mental activities alertness is maintained with this drug reduces vertigo symptom chakkar aane uh, ya aise lagna ki sir ghoom raha hai a sensation of motion or spinning so vertigo can be controlled with this asthmatic symptoms can be controlled cough congestion respiratory infections can be controlled uh, so it is a poisonous plant uh, it cannot be uh, used uh, without the prescription of doctor its doses are standardized and only it should be taken under the supervision of doctor and if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching my video